And now 5-0 in favour of Toxic, of course. Oh, have we seen a T by here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm not saying that. We've got AKs in play. Let's see if Sapphire can actually make any headway here. You see them getting that flash out towards quad side. AK spray coming in. Seems like a bit of a bad team flash there, though. I completely lose vision. Still alive, though. Made it all the way to truck. Jacob with double, though. He's going to pick up the HE kill to his reel and the uh, M4 frag. Nicely done. That's going to stop the entry here. A few moving in. Picks up the headshot. Beautifully done. That's done. Burzo drop. The bomb could go down. He's saying that. He's still got... Yeah, we've still got Sulf to deal with in pit and Jacob as well, so I think going for the plant might be... Uh, I actually have done it. That requires some balls, I've got to say, considering there's still two in pit. Frizzer down to 16 HP. So we've got uh, Nephew here. He's on 52, so... It's not like Sapphire in a particularly healthy situation. You can see Jacob flanking around the side there from CT Arch. Frizzer, though, from apartments. Picking up the headshot to Jacob. Is that the diffuser I can hear? It is. Sulf on the bomb here. Spray coming in. Does he realize that the diffuser is going down? I don't think he does. Sulf's going to get this ninja style. Oh, no, he's not. Frizzer chops him down at the very last second. First round on the board for Sapphire here. And uh, a much needed round it was because this game gets any further away from them. Um, CTs of Toxic should have an easy time, to be quite honest. But as long as uh, as long as long Sapphire can chain together a couple of rounds here, there's no reason that they can't start to build some momentum on that T side and actually get some money to play with. Uh, toxic with a couple of drops at spawn. I think I just saw an extra M4. Let me just go and check if they waste any. Uh, I was just saying that I don't have... Free cam bound, nice. Have to sort that later. But I do believe they dropped one more weapon than they should have, so a bit of a waste of money there. Three thousand one hundred dollars wasted. Bomb on second mid, so it does seem like we are going to see a covered site attack here. We got the, uh, as you can see from the overview, two on mid, three on second mid. Right, here come the flashbangs up mid. Now they've made it all the way through to CT Arch here. If they can actually get over towards Banana, they could get the cheeky uh, Banana Reacher and come in the back. But uh, as you can see, Carl's has moved into position there to uh, to stop that. He's gone all the way into CT Spawners. Jacob and Frizzer exchange kills. FYX and Sulf being dropped. Both of them headshots. Well, that was Jacob with his second headshot of the round. Be triple X dropped and the third one as well. Let's see if he can go for the George Foreman here. Well, you can see that Nephew's taking a lot of fire down to 19 HP. Pushes out onto site. Does manage to pick up that bomb. It looks like Jacob's probably going to get his kill here. There it is. There's the George Foreman. Nicely done. My HG nearly finished him off. Down to 29 HP, but still going to take away the fact that he did pick up four kills that round. Anyway, 6-1. to one. Momentum off Sapphire has been broken, so they will be eco here. And imagine full Glock eco as well. I can't imagine any uh, Deagle. I'm not saying that they've got Deagles being dropped, so... Cash an issue here for Sapphire because the cash has been reset, of course. They only started with 1.5k this round as opposed to 3k because they won the round before. So, be interesting to see if they have to eco two here or just the one. Oh, big HE. That would have done a lot of damage. Let's see who that was. Who's actually got nailed by that? Yep, it would have been Nephew's down to 40 HP. That's not good. Uh, yeah, Deagle spam over towards mid. It looks like we've got Soul falling back from the pants with a single health. He's managed to make it to the graveyard, though, so he's in the relative safety of the uh, the graveyard. Here is Sulf, Dumbazo, and Jacob pick up kills. It's really going to stop this Sapphire attack over towards the covered site. The bomb is still up in the hands of Triple X, as you can see, but with a Deagle and 63 HP, don't particularly fancy his chances. Probably about as much uh, probably about as much chance of snowball in hell, to be quite honest, but oh well. Uh, so we've got going down Maiden, actually flanking from uh, CT Arch here, so... Seems like Toxic have actually figured that this is definitely going to be a covered site attack. With 37 seconds left, I suppose we could see uh, Sapphire actually pull the reach around and go towards Banana, but it appears that's what they might be doing here. Are they going to push mid or are they going to go Banana? Banana, okay. Well, that means Cos is going to have some action here, so we'll stick with Cos for time. Oh, one dig. Nicely done. Triple X now going to open Banana. You see the rotation is coming in quicker, though. Already won a CT spawn with the AWP and Sulf just behind as well, so. And there's Naden with the kill. That's going to stop the barbecue plant. I believe that's bombed down, yep. Oh, <laughs> another one dig. Nicely done. Did fire the second shot, but the first shot was the deadly shot. Yeah. There's the headshot, though. Jacob coming up with the goods, and as you can see, we had, uh, I guess that's going to be, yep, Sulf flanking through uh, ruins as well, so not really much chance of uh, <laughs> even getting a plant there. 7-1 the scoreline. Let's give you a look at the top scorers. 
As we can see, the T's on a bite. And we'll start off with, uh, it's going to be Jake in top scorer, 14 and 2. Second place, that's going to be Dumbazo, 9 and 4. And third, that's going to be Frizzer, 7 and 7, who seems to have stepped his game up a little bit since yesterday. Although he did pick up uh, a fairly epic form on yesterday, but he was a little bit flat compared to what we used to see him. There we go, Palmer's rush. There's going to be a Deagle headshot from Triple X. He's just been absolutely on fire with that Deagle. Might be as well just playing with that as opposed to uh, a rifle. Here we go. A few making his push into Banana. Four men making their way in. Terrible flash, though. That's going to slow his whole team down. And here come the CT flashbangs. That means the rotation must have started here. Yep, we got Dumbazo on the way. Cosby's going to pick up that first kill. Frag uh, Frizzard did get the frag onto Cosby in return, but as you can see, the bomb has gone down. I'm saying that Dumbazo's going to pick off Frizzard, so. Just a case of, uh, of Dumbazo playing it smart here and, and just hanging outside, waiting for the rest of his team to come and uh, I think we got yep, one through ruins. That's going to be Naden. Two through ruins, in fact, as Naden's going to be dropped by the uh, spray from FYX. Dumbazo with the TK onto Jacob. That was pretty devastating. I think Dumbazo's not going to be best impressed about that. Carlos probably uh, cursing himself right now. Well, doesn't look like he's going to get out of there with the op. He's going to be shut down by Triple X, and that's now 7 2. So, second round of the uh, T side here for Sapphire. It's going to be a bit of a confidence boost. <coughs> As you can see, first time that we've seen Fragmaster's Toxic on the Eco here, so... We do have Deagles to play with. You see them trying to scavenge at spawn. <laughs> there we go. Dumbazo gets some stopping power. Good stuff. <coughs> Only right that you give the Deagle to one of the, uh, the better players on the team. And of course, Dumbazo is one of the uh, well, most rated players in the <laughs> EU scene. And you can see just why. Now, was he dropped there on the, uh, the flashbangs? Yep, he has been taken down. It's going to be Zrill with the, uh, the headshot to Dabazzo. Shaken with the one dig back onto Frizzer, though. Zrill has made it all the way through uh, over towards the library here, and he's going to fall back as Nephew picks up the, uh, the kill to Jacob. Naden, though, with the headshot from the USP, though. Looks like Coz is going to pick up the Deagle headshot as well. This is not looking good here for Sapphire. They do have the bomb on sight, but as you can see, it's a two on one. We've got Naden on uh, CT Arch, and we've got Coz coming up mid, so the rotation has already been made here. Triple X might have figured that out, though. He might be thinking about going actually over towards uh, Banana here. If he can actually get this kill, which he can't. Naden does pick up the frag. That's now 8-2, and the cash is reset yet again here for uh, Sapphire. I have to say, Sapphire not having that great of a time of it. As you can see, 15-4, and four, so Jacob way above a 3-1 kill-to-death ratio. Uh, we got Dumbazo almost on 2-1, to one, and we got Caused above 2-1 uh, to one as well as, as well as Naden, so... Really, only Sulf not pulling his weight here for Toxic. And as you can see from uh, from Sapphire, nobody with a neutral kill to death ratio. So it's not looking good when it comes to the second half because, uh, I mean, it is a little bit CT sided. Of course, Sapphire did lose the knife round, but they're not going to have much leeway. And uh, <laughs> basically, they're not going to be able to afford to lose the pistols if they want to stand a chance of going through. Uh, Frizzle waiting apartments for that Deagle. Obviously, he's hoping for the one Deagle, but. Again, he's going to be pushing because, as you can see, Jacob will just wait till the, uh, the outside here. Mm, Triple X and company seem like they're going to go apartments here. Mm, perhaps not. It looked like Zerill was going to go up for the, uh, the balcony boost, but besides against it. Uh -huh, well it sounds like that's going to be Sulf pushing Banana here. He picks up the M4 frag onto FYX. Now Frizz is going to be moving for apartments. Dumbazo with two headshots. Triple X and Zerill dropped, and a third one. That's going to be Nephew also taken down. Mid-push absolutely put to pay. And it's going to be the final kill from Sulf, though. He's going to shut down Frizzer. That's now a 9-2 scoreline. And I have to say, it's I, I can't see any way into it, back into this game here for uh, Sapphire, to be quite honest. I mean, like I said, if, if, if they don't pick up pistols, then that's pretty much GG in my estimation because uh, Toxic on the T side, they're going to get entry onto that site and they're going to get the bomb down more often than not. Dumbazo back on mid here. Calls with that opening pick, though. Just to make it a 5 and 4, Nephew being dropped. So, Sapphire already off to a bad start here in what is uh, <laughs> a very pivotal round, to be quite honest. I mean, they could theoretically make this 9 6, which is more than a respectable. In fact, that's your standard scoreline in Infernal, to be quite honest. But I can't really see that happening in uh, a month of Sundays. Israel walking mid. It seems to be that Sapphire just. They want a face, but they want the lucky shots. They're not necessarily aggressive. They're just peeking, which 
Mm, online definitely does work, but at LAN, if you've got into plate settings set correctly, it's, uh, it's not that big of an advantage just peeking the corner. Good flashbang over the top. It's going well to get from quad side here, as you can see the spray going down. Sulf's going to pick up that headshot. He's in pit and he's going to get the second headshot as well. As rail being dropped. FYX going to take down Sulf in, in return, but Jacob though with the frag now. Frizzer does have the bomb and he's going to pick up the headshot onto Dumbazo, but Jacob on site. Second headshot of his round. That's now 10 2. Carl's didn't even have to make the rotation there, and uh, I have to say, kind of indicative of what we've seen so far. It seems like Toxic are the better of the, uh, the two FN teams, but we already knew that, to be quite honest. I was kind of hoping there was going to be a bit more banter in this game, but I guess that's. Uh, I guess that's probably happening face to face, to be quite honest, because these two teams know each other well more than a little bit. Let's just say that. Now we're going to see. Yeah, it looks like an aggressive banana push. Double HE frag from Cause though. It looks like Cause in URL spot. He's going to be dropped by the uh, Glock headshot burst. Dumbazo and Jake can come back with two quick kills though. Oh, nephew does get one kill, but Dumbazo showing up at just the right time to pick up the scraps. That's now an 11-2 scoreline. So. I think it has to be said here that Toxic do seem like the uh, the more dominant of these two teams. And as you can see, t by coming in, so Sapphire do have weapons. And in fact, they do have an AWP as well, so let's try and figure out who is going to be AWPing. It's not Frizzo, it's going to be FYX. So let's see if FYX can actually get his pick on top banana. Ooh, good HE coming from the back side, and the second one to follow it up. Smoke as well, so I'm expecting a rush here. Apparently so is FYX. You can see him being exceptionally patient here. Not quite sure how smart it is facing in smoke, but as you can see, he's got an AK just in front of him. I think that was, was that triple X? No. Ah, oh, Carl's opens up with the M4. Doesn't get the frag onto Frizzle, though. So he's got Sulf pushing out of the burn sight. Does see somebody logs? Is he going to flash out the top and then rush, or is he just going to try and hold them back? There's still a minute left, so one flashbang isn't going to be that effective at holding up this rush. Dumbazo is, though. He managed to get that frag onto Frizzle. Sulf picking up two, and there's the third. I don't think he actually knew FYX was there. It was just kind of lucky spray in the fourth. <laughs> nice, George Foreman coming in. That mask, just an absolute mask coming from uh, from Generator there. That's now a 12-2 scoreline. So it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty good here for a comfortable victory for Toxic, to be quite honest. Kind of wish that I would have covered the uh, the TCM game now, but we've already seen TCM once, and we haven't seen Toxic. So I thought we uh, we might as well give you Toxic fans uh, a little bit of a treat. Triple X making his way up in second mid. Only have a Galil to work with the last round of the first half, of course. And Stumbazo pushing it onto uh, Balcony. He's managed to pick up the headshot onto Zrail, so not exactly an ideal start here for Sapphire. He's nading it, also picking up that headshot on Banana. I don't know if you're going to bring it back to a 4 on 3, but as you can see, he took a lot of damage getting that frag, so a man down and probably with the uh, health disadvantage as well as Sapphire. Uh, big push coming in from Toxic. They've pushed from the covered site. Dumbazo making the rotation onto Banana. Galil fire coming in from Triple X, though. He didn't really clear second mid. Dumbazo probably will, though. Yep, there's the headshot. 13 2 on the half. I'd have to say that the uh, with the pistol victory here from Toxic, that would probably be GG, to be quite honest, unless we see uh, an eco upset. I'm waiting for the restart, of course. Good half's been exchanged. I have to say that's uh, good sportsmanship from uh, from Sapphire, considering how bad they got whooped on. Here we go, live on free coming in. Second half going to be underway momentarily. Of course, this is Multiplay's i37 CSS tournament coming to you live from Stony Park, brought to you in association with uh, Multiplay, Samsung, and WCG. Of course, a lot of great stuff going on on the main stage right now. I believe we've got Top Gear for Gamers 2 going on. That's going to be uh, Red Eye running the. Uh, I believe it's like a track mania sort of, you know, uh, do your best time sort of thing. That's that's running right now in the main stage. So if you are in the venue, come down and check it out. And if you're not, why not? Because this is uh, pretty much the epitome of UK esports. I mean, the I Series is the uh, the biggest deal that the, the UK scene does have. Oh, Dombazo trying to get onto top mid though with that Glock, but. Did manage to bait the grenade out, which I suppose is a, a bit of a bonus. And lost 13 HP in doing so as well. Uh, he's done Barzo. Yep, there's a second nade, so he knows that there's two on site and they've got no frags. Might be as well calling the rest of his team here because uh, 
I'm well, saying that we've got one facing mid, so I suppose mm, they, could, they could go covered site. It might be just as effective. And once they do get in on site, they're going to have to deal with FYX eventually anyway, even if they go banana, so. Oh, Jacob missing his boost. A bit embarrassing, but whatever. No, it seems like Jacob's opened up apartments here, so I'd be surprised if he doesn't call the rest of his team up. Let me just bump the gamma one second. Feels a little bit low. There we go. Uh, Dumbazo and Jacob picking up headshots with the Glock. FX did manage to pick up a USP headshot just before that, but as you can see, Pitt's going to be completely overwhelmed here. And Dumbazo from behind with the Glock headshot. Triple X did manage to take down uh, Jacob, but as you can see, Toxic well in control of that site at the moment. Two on two situation, though. Israel can clear pit here. He could actually stand a chance. Right, Dumbazo with the double from behind. Nicely done. Pistol round victory for uh, Toxic here. That's going to bring it to a uh, 14 2 scoreline. You'd expect the next two rounds would make it 16 2, which would make it, of course, a GG. And let's just see if we see any kind of semblance of an early bite. No. Have we gone for the Deagle? I think somebody was rocking a Deagle, though. Let's just see. No, actually, it seems like full eco here from uh, from Fragmasters, so I think I've got to stop saying from Fragmasters because they're both Fragmasters from Sapphire, yeah. Hope well, that's not too confusing for you guys at home. Well, this means that we're going to contest the uh, the overtime instead of instead of trying to go for the uh, eco victory here, but we're talking 13 game points, so I don't particularly see it happening, even if they do manage to uh, to prolong it a little bit and uh, pick up the gun round. I say gun run, it'll have to be an early buy, so it'll be for masses probably, not M4s. Well, Frizzle with that headshot to Jacob. Carl's going to fall back with just 31 HP. Smart play from Carl's, I have to say. He knew that there was uh, one dead on site, and he knew that there was two CTRs, so he said that quad side was going to be open. He gets the plan. FYX, though, with that kill onto Dumbazo, and it seems like. Toxic here, I <laughs> seem to be just using pistols. I mean, Sulf is rocking the Galil here, but everybody else seems to be uh, eco from Toxic, He's waiting for orbs. Uh, calls with a headshot to FYX. Triple X also shut down on truck. It's going to leave Frizzer here with a captured AK-47. Can he get it done? Gets the headshot, nicely done. Doesn't have time for the defuse. Not going to get it anyway. Sulf, though, with the headshot. And, uh, well, Sulf and, and Frizzer, no strangers to each other. But that's in 1-6, of course. Anyway, 2-0 on the half. Overall scoreline of 15 to 2. Game point here for Fragmasters Toxic. Let's see if Sapphire have actually bought up. Yep, like I said, for masses and body armor. No, in fact, one M4 here on FYX because he's had uh, three kills, so that extra money has just pushed him over the edge. And a big flashbang coming over the top. It's going to force FYX back. Counter flashing out. Let's see if they actually come out here. Nope. If FYX would have perhaps held off on that flashbang for maybe a half second longer, that could have been uh, an effective flash, but it doesn't matter because he's going to pick up the headshot anyway. And Dayton did manage to frag Triple X just before, so 4-on-4, four 4-on-3. Four. Four and now Zreal picks up the uh, the FMAS headshot back to a 3-on-3. Three Naden with the headshot to uh, Zreal. Well, FYX making his way up mid. Bomb is going down here. Sapphire have just heard that. Spray, headshot coming in from Naden. This could be a good round here for Sapphire. They could prolong the agony a little bit. <laughs> oh, saying that. FYX has definitely got something to say about it. Toxic still dug in on pit, though. You see Sulf, though, with 81 HP. Oh, FYX picks up the headshot. Carl's still on site with just 20 HP. Bomb ticking. Carl's going to play it for time here. He's heard the defuse. Is it going to be a fake? It was a fake, but doesn't stop Carl's from picking up the frag, and that's going to be GG, of course. Toxic uh, victors 16-2. to